if you can just clearly understand the metaphysics of what I'm talking about, that you never, in truth, have could attack or be attacked, then you'll be completely absolved of all guilt. Because, you know, God does not, it says God does not forgive for he has never condemned. Mm -hmm. That's a quite a high idea. Because mm -hmm. most of us have been thought of God as like watching over us and, oh boy, have I screwed up. I've messed up a lot in my life. And I have a lot of wrongs that I've done. And I've committed a lot of, whether you call them sins or mistakes. Mm -hmm. Then, yeah. but of course, it's saying that, that guilt comes from a present decision. So memories are just memories. But it's the meaning that you read in to the memories that gives them the charge. Makes it seem real. Yeah. Right. And that having that memory come to awareness in the, in the present is just like if you can withdraw all the meaning from it, then you'll be absolved of the, the anger, the hurt, the guilt, the fear, whatever seems to come up. You can make a present decision to, to watch that memory with the Holy Spirit up here from above the battlefield secure in the fact that it's just a projection just at the level of form and that you're a mind and you're being held there with the Holy Spirit watching it which is a lot different than a lot of psychotherapies which kind of like they go on a witch hunt back into your mind and even like past life regressions people will say for instance like um, I had one woman who said she's had this un irrational fear of birds in this so called life and that she finally got in touch with it because, like so many lifetimes ago, in, in her memory, she had been raped and thrown out of a cart to lay on the side of a ditch, and these birds had come and just pecked away at her body. And therefore, she was trying to make the equation that that incident that happened so many lifetimes ago in the past was responsible for how she was feeling about birds in, in this life. Mm -hmm. Well, see, that, that seems like, oh, that seems like a pretty good metaphysical leap. Well, of course, comes along and saying, it's your interpretation of that memory. You know, it's, the, it's your body identification. It, it runs a lot deeper. It's your interpretation that you're making right now, in this instance, that's bringing that fear of, of whatever, something out there on the screen. And it's not that the past memory was causative. Some people may say, like, being abused by a, a parent or, or molested or um, having your parents die when you were young and being in a home or whatever. A lot of people have all these things that they carry around and they, they actually really do believe, the mind believes that the source of its misery is in the past. It's something back like there caused how I am how I, now. How I am now. Uh -huh. Denying right. that it's my decision right now. So if you really trace this back, you can start to see that the ego's belief is that you've been deprived of something in the past. Mm -hmm. Use your relationships to get to get what you've always been missing. That's where that we're getting at the metaphysics of where does this get mm -hmm. you know give to get come in? You're deprived and you're going to feel guilty and with good reason. And what the course is saying is right here in this instant, you you can make a choice to see the script differently. To see the to literally remove all meaning from the script and to see it differently and be completely absolved this very instant. But Jesus is saying it's only your own deception, your own belief in time even, that's, that's still holding you apart. It's still your own delusion about time that's kind of, you're afraid to just accept this one solution in the, in the present.